Hello folks, John Daniel here, doing a video blog today as a tribute to Hollywood producer Aaron Rubin. Aaron Rubin was the producer of the Andy Griffith Show back in the 1960s. Many of you who watch my videos uh, probably don't know who he is, but I'm going to do this quick tribute uh, and talk about Aaron for a few minutes. And uh, let's read this article dated today from the Los Angeles Times. Aaron Rubin, a comedy writer, producer, and director whose five-decade career, including producing The Andy Griffith Show for the first five seasons, in creating the spin-off series Gomer Pyle USMC has died. He was 95. Rubin, who devoted much of his life later to being a court-appointed advocate for abused and abandoned children, died Saturdays of complications from phenomena at his home in Beverly Hills. Moving into television in the early 1950s, he was a writer on special starring Danny Thomas, Ed Wynn, and Eddie Cantor. He wrote for the Milton Berle Show, Caesar's Hour, and the Phil Silver Show, where he also began directing. Rubin produced the Andy Griffith Show from 1960 to 1965, and also wrote and directed some of the episodes of the popular CBS series. I'm frankly surprised at the show having become an icon, really, Rubin said in a 1999 interview. He recalled rec receiving letters from older fans at the time saying that the series spurred nostalgic memories of their own experiences growing up in small towns like the show's Mayberry, North Carolina. And my theory, Rubin said, is that the Andy Griffith show is like the grown-ups Oz. It's the land of, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to live in a town with no drugs, no crime, no gangs, no violence? A place where people greet each other, people are kind to each other. That's why grown-ups love that show. When I did my book, More Than Otis No Bow, for actor Hal Smith, who played Otis Campbell on The Andy Griffith Show, and uh, I also knew, when I was interviewing... Andy Griffith, I asked him who I could contact, and Andy, of course, gave me Aaron Rubin's contact information, and I wrote to Aaron. A few weeks later, I received a short letter from Aaron here. It's got my treasured letter from Aaron Rubin, dated October 8th. 2002. I try to make this video blog under 10 minutes. I have your letter in the material covering Hal Smith. I don't know that I can add any more than you already have from Jim Clark and Andy Griffith. I can only tell you that Hal was a delight to work with. He was a fatable admiral guy and he played in Admiral Drunk. He was a talented actor and I'll always remember him with much fondness. Aaron Rubin. Quick note from Aaron, which now will stay in my vault forever. Try to keep this under 10 minutes. Don't want to have anyone fall asleep. Um, also, movie director Ron Howard who played young Opie in the show, recalled that Rubin gave him his first 8mm camera on his 8th birthday, which turned out to be a really significant because I actually did get into it and started making little, movie, little movies almost right away. My recollection of Aaron was he took a tremendous amount of pleasure in collaborating with the cast and encouraging creative input in the scripts from all of us, even me as a kid, Howard told the LA Times on Monday. So Aaron had a significant part in the development of the Andy Griffith Show, along with Don Knotts, 
Ron Howard, Hal Smith, and all the many other cast members. On Jim Clark's Facebook page, Andy Griffith left a short statement that I would like to read to you. I said to Aaron's beautiful wife on Saturday, no one knows how sad I am. Then my wife and I sobbed for hours. While Cindy and I knew this was coming, while he was still on earth, we could still talk. We spoke every year on Christmas Day. When we were working together or not, we were always friends. We spoke this last Christmas and, and laughed together. Aaron did many things in the show business we both loved. Most importantly, Aaron would want to be known for his work with CASA and other charities he and Maureen worked with. And CASA is a charity group for children um, and so forth. So I wanted to um, wish my condolences to Aaron Rubin's family if they see this video. We've lost another person from the era of the Andy Griffith Show now gone. But hopefully myself and Others of the younger generation will keep the show going, the land of Oz, Mayberry, North Carolina.